Think about Jesus. Think about Jesus. Focus on Jesus this morning. It's a brand new week. Yes, yes, yes. Wake up with the sense of what he has said concerning you. Wake up with the sense of all his promises. Wake up with the sacrifice he has made his only begotten son. In Jesus' name. Oh yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are blessed. You are blessed this morning. Saints of God, you are blessed. Wonderful children of God, you are blessed. You are blessed this morning. You are blessed this morning. You are blessed this morning. Holy Spirit of God is at work in your life. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. Everything concerning you is new, bright, and lovely day for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Saint of God is another yet another day. And the Holy Spirit of God is on top of those matters that you don't know how to begin or start with. But I would like to tell you that the Spirit of God is at work in your life to see you through. But why have you forgotten all that he has said to you? Why have you forgotten all that he has said to you? Jesus Christ was made manifest <coughs> to destroy every works of Satan. Then why have you felt that it's not possible? It is possible because his words are not lie. I want you to focus on all that he has told you. What has happened to your Bible? What happened to it? Why not ponder upon every word that he has spoken concerning you? I believe strongly, if you ponder upon them, things about you will change. 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 You will change. Are you willing to see that change? If you are willing to see that change, then you will go back to your Bible, trace it, and you will discover the beautiful things he has made possible and available for you to use and change your destiny. Prayer is a very good one. Uh, Thanksgiving is another good one. Praise and worship is a fantastic one. All these are what God really wants you to focus on. Have you forgotten that he himself is God who is alive at all time to see you through? So when you do not want to respond to the truth about Jesus, then you will just be like someone who is lost. God really wants to see you through he wants to ensure that everything concerning you is beautiful. So long you confess him as your Lord and personal Savior. So long you confess him as your Lord and personal Savior. Are you really ready to see God in the dimension you never seen him before? Then you would, if only... You can but believe in his name. He has given us this name, Jesus Christ, so that we will be able to win at all time. Devil doesn't want you to call the name Jesus Christ. He doesn't want you to solely depend on that name. But believe me, that is the sweetest name of all time. Hallelujah. That is the sweetest name of all time. 
and God wants you to focus on that name for there is power in the name. Let me start with you. Do you know that when you have Christ in your life, you are sure to enjoy overflowing peace? God speaking from 2 Thessalonians 3, 16. Now may the Lord of peace, of all peace, himself give you peace in every way. The Lord be with you all. The word of God <coughs> does not want you to suffer what you may be suffering now that gives you no peace. And that is why he has assured you all wonderful peace. I prophesy overflowing peace, favor, joy, wisdom, protection, healing, lifting, prosperity, productivity, and complete victory in the name of Jesus. Don't leave Jesus alone, for that is the only way you can flourish. In Jesus, you enjoy flourishing grace. God speaking from Psalm 92 verse 12. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. It shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Saint of God, right now I prophesy flourishing grace. In your life, business, ministry, and career, receive the healing prosperity, fruitfulness in all that you are doing. In the name of Jesus. Success is of God. And if you don't have Jesus, you will be struggling to succeed. When you are in him, then shall you flourish and enjoy the ability to succeed. God speaking from Isaiah 48, 17. I am the Lord your God who teaches you to profit, who leads you to the way. I prophesy, saint of God, to you one more time. Divine guidance, assistance, wisdom, favor, life business and ministry receive ability to succeed in the name of jesus christ many are the afflictions of the righteous but god deliver him from them all that is the reason why we call him the victory of christ when you are in jesus victoriously you will succeed and your testimony will be wonderful god speaking from job 8 21 he will yet fill your mouth with laughter and your lips with shout of joy this very month the remaining days of this month i prophesy your mouth shall be filled with laughter your lips with shout of joy you will testify of the goodness and mercy of god favor and fruitfulness, lifting and prosperity of God in the name of Jesus. And finally, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and power. Be at a lot. Be at a lot. We are not just ordinary, therefore, there is ability that no power nor force will be able to destroy. So consider yourself as indestructible. God speaking from 1 Peter 1, 23. Being born again, not of destructible seed, but indestructible, through the word of God which lives and abides forever. You are made of indestructible seed, sealed by the Spirit, secured by the Spirit, fortified by the Spirit, protected by the Spirit, victorious in the name of Jesus Christ. The Spirit of God has a lot of package tied, that tied to the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, remain in Him and don't joke with every of His promises, for they are true. If you are listening to this message and you have never given your life before to Jesus, this is an opportunity for you. 
bow your head and let us do these confessions say after me dear jesus today i have given my life my soul and spirit to you i surrender to you and i confess you to be my lord and personal savior i denounce every lesser god and i embrace you i embrace you completely because i know that you are my god you died on the cross for my sake and on the third day you resurrected now i have the knowledge that you are seated high at the right hand of your father in heaven and i know you have sent the holy spirit that has brought me to today's message thank you jesus for accepting me as your son as your daughter thank you jesus i will not joke with this in jesus name amen if you have made this confession consider yourself a brand new one you are victorious this is a chance that he has given you to become a new being congratulations for all things has passed away behold everything about you is new you are just a brand new creature that have never been existing so you have never existed consider yourself as brand new i congratulate you one more time please look for a bible teaching church go there tell the the, the man of god you will find there that you have given your life to jesus and you are led to Christ by Reverend Prophet Yilfil Mekunye of Exceeding Grace Church for All Nations. God bless you. Saint of God, wherever you are, across the globe, say with me, God is good. Say it one more time. God is good. And let us say it louder this time. God is good. Hallelujah. 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 God is good. God is good. You can reach me on 08065371380 if you need to discuss anything with me. Do not be afraid. I am on ground. I will chat you live. I will chat you live if you reach me on WhatsApp. Then, God will do better things for us. Just keep on. Keep firm. Hold on. To Jesus, he will not fail you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Bye-bye.